So normally I wouldn't do a video about this, but this time around I got carried away and it's actually worth it. See, a few days ago, for some unknown reason, I suddenly felt the motivation to update Effective, my mod that adds splashes to Minecraft as well as cascades and other particles from the Minecraft trailers. And before you ask, yes, I plan to work on other effects, I've tried a prototype for foam, but it's not exactly good yet. Anyway, so I decided to fix some bugs and tweak the cascades, and Mori decided to help me improve performance, and during testing, we came across a bug that made all flowing water blocks actually turn into cascades. And while we had to remove it because we rewrote the entire system, we had to make it a feature. So now, as you just saw, all water blocks getting updated will generate waterfall cloud particles, which, you know, makes sense because it's it's water cascading down. But the real trick is the following. As you can see, we have this cascade. It looks decent, looks pretty good with a few waterfall particles at the bottom. But if we turn on this lever, it's on a whole different level. Now, apart from the fact that my frame just got cut in half, if you get a bit closer to the cascade, you'll start noticing that it has lapis lazuli blocks that are getting pushed back and forth by pistons. And that's the trick. In this new version, any lapis lazuli block updates near a flowing water block will also update all subsequent flowing water blocks, which allows us to display these cascade particle effects on any flowing water block we want. Now, this setting can be configured, and this is currently the default value, which is 10, but if we put it to 100, it gets a little more intense. <laughs> Oh, I, uh, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a good 10 FPS. And the reason I wanted to make a video about this is that it has a lot of cool uses. For instance, more flowing blocks means naturally more particles, so you can have this monstrosity, which, uh, generates a lot of mist. You can also make some pretty convincing hot springs if you combine this new mechanic with water flowing into the pool. And my personal favorite... You can make some nice looking geysers. I mean, look at this thing. Now, if you've tried the mod yourself in the past, you'll notice one more thing I didn't mention in this video, and I give you two seconds to guess what it is. Yeah, that's right. I changed the waterfall sounds, and finally, you can play without becoming deaf if you decide to have your ambient volume above 1%.